guys, it's your tech girl Mary and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Yes, happy 2024, happy new year guys. And ang unang video ng taon ay galing sa brand ng Honor. Which is I think the same thing that we did last year. We talked about yung predecessor nito which is the Honor X9A. So instead of Honor X10, Honor X11, they are changing the letters instead. First, I know you guys have been seeing so many promotional videos of this phone all over social media. Huwag kayong mag-alala, nandito naman ako para pag-usapan natin at malaman kung worth it ba itong bagong mid-range phone ng Honor. So from the title, I said that it's tough and practical. Sasagutin natin yan sa bandang dulo ng video, pero kung maaalala nyo, yung Honor X9A is also the smartphone that can take some serious hits. But this time, mas pinatibay ng brand yung toughness niya. Wala na tayong unboxing guys, so pag-usapan natin agad yung nagustuhan ko sa design niya. So if you want a bit of comparison with its predecessor na X9A, etong X90 guys has a slight increase in thickness, weight, and width. And to be exact, it weighs at 185 grams. Hindi pa nang gaano ang kabigatan considering its battery capacity. So for me, it is the sweet spot. And kung mapapansin nyo, yung circular camera design niya is the same camera design that we saw on last year's Honor Magic 4 Pro. Pero alam nyo, despite the expansive camera island, tabla lang yung cameras niya and meron siyang isang LED flash. But to me, it's not like it's bad. Orange color screams luxury for me. Hindi kailangan na gumasos ng ganun kamahal or pang flagship level price para lang ma-achieve yung premium like so what makes this phone stand out among the crowd? Considering na napakadaming magagandang mid-range phones ang naglabasan last, 2020, or last year 2023 that I still think is worth considering this 2024. To me, it stands out because it is a super durable smartphone carrying forward the legacy of its predecessor with an almost indestructible display. According to the brand, this phone received a 5-star rating for overall drop resistance from SGS Switzerland dahil ito sa kanyang brand new 3-level protection that provides multiple reinforcements for the screen, frame, and internal compartments. So yup, unlike last year, hindi lang display yung matibay, this time, halos kabuuan niya. Kaya rin kung mapapansin nyo, ang intense naman din talaga ng mga drop test, durability test na nakikita nyo online. And what I like most, they did not compromise the design. Alam naman nating lahat, especially from the brands like, I'm not sure if familiar kayo yung doggy na brand. Madalas silang gumagawa ng super durable phones na very rugged yung design. Magaganda naman sila, but to be honest, yung ganong klase ng design sa isang phone is not my cup of tea. So yup, I like the fact na hindi outdoorsy yung design niya. It still is sleek, pero again, Matibay. Okay, so ang dami ko sinabing positive about this phone. Kamusta naman yung hindi ko nagustuhan? Interestingly, this phone is durable but only has an IP rating of IP53. So yes, it has some level of water and dust resistance but it cannot be treated as a waterproof phone. Now for its OLED display, I know it's a tough one pero syempre, other than that, I like that it doesn't lag. I really appreciate the punchy colors, yung 120Hz dynamic refresh rate niya, and very adequate lang yung brightness niya, lalong-lalo na outdoors. Now, for unlocking, there is an under-display fingerprint reader that is placed way too low for me, but I appreciate that it is consistent. Overall, in terms of design, display, wala naman tayong major complaints sa kanya, as always. But... I do wish this time they opted for a flat display rather than a curved panel. Anyway, both the volume rocker and power button is on the right and yung nag-iisang speaker niya naman ay nasa ilalim. Now, as far as photography is concerned, versatile naman yung set of cameras na meron siya. 
tatlo, which is the usual, we got the main cam, ultra wide, and a macro lens. We got a 108 megapixels main camera, 5 megapixels ultra wide, and a 2 megapixels macro camera. Diretso agad, main camera has the ability to capture social media worthy photos for me. And then yung detail na inahanap ko, thanks to the adoption of a high resolution imaging sensor which uses an advanced 8 and 1 pixel binning. Now, what I notice is meron siyang 3 times or 3x options sa kanyang camera interface. According to the brand, it is a 3x optical level zoom. Again, optical level, but it's not a 3x optical zoom. Kumbaga, it can be compared or it is comparable. In fairness naman, the 3 times zoom offered a high quality level magnification. Buti na lang din may ganito, it is very helpful. I actually appreciate having a 3 times zoom kaysa sa 2x. By the way, this is also present sa video mode and even sa kanyang portrait mode. The main camera guys, yung pinaka most capable one as you can get good colors and decent details with of course some light. Now in terms of low light conditions, it's far from great. Medyo hit or miss siya. So I suggest gamitin na lang yung night mode or the dead dedicated night mode para kahit papano naman ay maging okay pa rin yung results or output. Now, for the ultra-wide photos, dito makikita nyo agad yung drop ng image quality. Probably because they used a lower 5 megapixels rather than the typical 12 megapixels. Now, in terms of the selfies, to be honest, I really like the output. Even though 16 megapixels lang siya, very natural pa rin yung output and the detail is there. To be honest, mahirap humanap ng perfectong mid-range phone. May mga compromises pa rin talaga tayo na makikita. Feeling ko guys, kung merong dedicated OIS lang yung main camera, hindi tayo masyadong magkakaproblema in terms of, you know, low light shots. Lalo na if ginagamit yung night mode. So the secret here is, of course, to take photos with a steady hand or with a tripod. Now, in terms of battery, dito nagulat ako considering that this phone is this thin. The Honor X90 features a 5,800 mAh which never fails to provide me at least 2 days usage during the normal days. In fact, the brand or yung Honor guys, they claim that the battery will last for 3 days. But to me, the longest I'd experienced was around 2 and a half days which is still not bad. This is during my review period of course and impressive pa rin to para sa isang mid-range phone. Now, every 2 and a half days na malalobat yung Honor X9 b it can be recharged using the bundled 35 watts power brick. Which was able to deliver me guys a full charge from 0 to 100% in slightly below 2 hours. So yes, unfortunately, hindi siya sobrang bilis mag-charge like what we typically see, expected naman to sa isang phone na almost 6,000 mAh ang capacity. Ang importante, hindi siya mabilis malubat. Because to me, every time I charge, it's always at the end of the day kung kailan hindi ko na siya ginagamit. Now, in terms of performance, this phone, the X9B, is powered by an octa-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 6 Gen 1 chipset. Which is, we all know, a flagship chipset, but it was used years ago. But don't be discouraged, ang importante dito yung real-world usage niya. To me, the chipset is sufficient enough to handle day-to-day -day tasks such as messaging, social media consumption, and even a bit of mobile gaming. It also has a 12 gig of RAM which also supports Honor's RAM Turbo technology that expands its existing RAM capacity by an additional 8 gig to a total of 20 gig. But to be honest, kung wala yung expansion option na yon, 12 gig of physical RAM is actually already more than enough. Very easy and yung transition between apps is to me, seamless. There are significant lag or frame drops nga lang in terms of graphic intensive games. But again, this is to be expected from a chipset that was launched years ago. Now, as for the software of this phone, ito yung typical guys na nakikita natin sa mga Honor phones. It has the Magic OS 7.2 which is pretty much the same software after all these years. And I think mas okay to 
or not I think but based on experience to me it's better than me UI and and dami pa rin confused meron pong Google services ang Honor X 9B or lahat ng smartphones ng Honor So verdict Totoo bang tough and practical siya? Considering na same na same yung pricing ng Honor X 9B 5G with its predecessor, to me, it's a practical device. Kahit na hindi siya perfectong smartphone, to me, it still provides a solid value for money. It's a practical phone for daily usage, especially for those people who prefer a case-free experience, dislike the added bulk, find themselves prone to phone drops, especially a phone that doesn't require frequent charging. So yup, in terms of durability, I am stunned and impressed. It can definitely take some abuse, intentional man ito or hindi. Pero syempre, yung totoo dyan, yung totoong scenario, hindi nyo naman sasadya yung ibagsak yung phone. Probably yung mga nakikita nyo ngang videos is just to test how durable the phone is and I think nakapasa naman yung Honor X 9P. <laughs> X9B doon. And lagi nyo rin tatandaan, lahat naman ng bagay na hindi iniingatan ay masisira kahit gaano pa yan katibay. So, how about you guys? Impressed din ba kayo? Or hindi pa rin? So, yup, that's basically it. Again, it's your tech girl, Mary. And see you on our next video.